Slovenija je z neskokom največji izvoznik v regiji Adrija, pa tudi največji vvoznika. Za razliko od prejšnjih let podatki državnih statistikov za letos kažejo, da je vvoz v skupnem znesku večji od izvoza. Tudi rast vvoza v prvem poletju je namreč skoraj polovična, izvoza pa približno tretinska. Pokritost izvoza z vvozom v prvem poletju je tako 92 odstotna, kar je še vedno največ v regiji Adrija. Pri tem je bil juni šele prvi letošnji mesec, ko so slovenska podjetja več izvozila kot pa uvozila. Vse mesece pri tem je bil zabeležen pri Makljaj. Kot zanimivost, junijska menjava je bila najvišja v zgodovini. O razmerih na izvoznih trgih in razlogih za tolično rast uvoza bo za Bloomberg Adrijo govoril Baha Abdula, izvršni član uprave in finančni direktor iz Krajemeka, proizvajalca števcev, ki je prisoten na več kot 80 trgih, največ v Evropi, na bližnjem vzhodu in v Afriki in letno izvozi za preko 100 milijonov evrov zdelkov. Welcome, Mr. Abdula. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Mr. Abdullah, Bloomberg Adrios analysis shows that in the Eurozone the component of new orders fell for a third consecutive month. Is Kremika exports to more than 80 markets globally? What do you notice? Are exports already cooling off? Is there a drop in demand? And maybe in which parts of the world is this most pronounced, as you see it, of course? Yeah, thank you for, uh, for, for having me today. It's really a great, uh, good question. Uh, uh, look, uh, for we see uh, according to our exports, uh, we uh, we are exporting worldwide, as you mentioned. But we see the cooling down a bit in eurozone, uh, but not only, but but not in other countries. For example, if we see if we see Middle East, if we see India, especially India, uh, uh, Middle East, Africa, the demand are still there. And we are even even uh, even increasing our our uh, our uh, our products uh, at that in these countries. In Europe, is not really really a lot of slowdown, because uh, especially in energy sector, because you, as you know that uh, we were in COVID last two three years, and then the demand starts again to raise. And a lot of uh, smart meters or smart uh, smart energy project was postponed because of COVID and uh, and installations. But currently, that's that's moving in the in the right direction. In the whole world, except in eurozone, it is a little bit slowing down. Okay, that's very good news. You probably also speak with other Slovenian exporters. What do they say uh, usually? They are they are saying they're almost the same. Uh, as you know, uh, your uh, Slovenian economy are packed or or connected uh, mainly with the European uh, with the European Union or EU or EU countries, and uh, uh, mainly Germany. We are exporting more to 17 percent to Germany as a GDP in in Slovenia. Uh, it was affected by the German by by the slowdown a bit. Uh, not because of the because of the 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 the, the Ukraine Russian war only, but because of the because of the demand or the, the slowdown of the lead time of the components or the material. Uh, other than that, I think they are uh, they are they have the same the same opinion that a part of the European uh, for Europe zone that that's going in the right direction. Some some uh, some uh, some other exporters they are saying that also in Far East they are they are seeing some some slowdown as well. Mm. Okay, the world is on the threshold of a recession right now. We don't know if it will cross the threshold. How are you prepared for a possible recession then? Are you afraid that it would it could be a long-lasting one? Um, uh, uh, according to our analysis and our statistics, definitely we see uh, that uh, this could could go to uh, to uh, recession. Uh, we we or let us put it in this way, a stagflation. Uh, this is what we are, what we can see uh, in next uh, or, or near future, but we uh, we believe that we cannot, we it will not last for long. The the, the economy, the world are not are not. Uh, I think they are. They are everyone try to uh, to prepare uh, themselves for for such stagflation or infl or recession. And from our side, for example, we are taking a lot of uh, a lot of measures. Uh, uh, first, first measure we took almost one six months ago, that we started for different geographical areas. So we are mo we are moving to different geographical markets, and we succeeded on that. Uh, India, for example, was one of them. And uh, then we we started to diversify our product portfolio. 
or our segmentation in the in the broader portfolio, which is very important to have it not only for Iskra or Iskra Emico, but for every every prod, every com company they would like to export. We have to see also different different uh, diversified in the in the broader portfolio. And one of the main main uh, main uh, good uh, good decision which we took two years ago that we are we uh, we moved to what so called uh, managed services. Or long term, or long term, or ongoing uh, recurring business. Uh, like for example, that's long term for 10 years. We are signing contract, or we already signed contract for 10 years for operation and maintenance plus uh, deployment of the smart solutions. Okay. On the other hand, do you have problems importing raw materials? How is the war in Ukraine that we already mentioned affecting this process? Uh, fr frankly speaking, that's the major major issue we we are we are we were facing for last two or uh, two years for the electronic components, especially electronic components, for the l lack of demand and uh, uh, not lack of demand, a lot of demand, a huge demand, but we cannot deliver, we cannot get the the, the right material on time. Lead time was was a huge issue, and uh, and also the the logistics the logistics and the discipline of the logistics was really really uh, difficult to uh, to manage uh, just for your for your information what, what, uh, some some components we have the lead time was almost four to six weeks now we are discussing about 40 weeks uh, we see also uh, also ab uh, optimism about that in the near future because a lot of companies they already uh, started to uh, to build the factories their own factories or across the world not only in the, in the, in in far east uh, regarding uh, ukraine uh, ukraine russian uh, war for our business it was not affecting us a lot but we see that the the effect of such war will be definitely for the the energy uh, energy consumption and how we can we we have to be careful about about the energy and definitely how we can uh, from an energy perspective from electricity from uh, from gas that's the main the main uh, the main effect Thank you for the discussion, Mr. Abdullah. Ohlanjajo iz voza in po rastu voza ter o tem, kako se na razmeri odziva izvoznika. Izvoznik je za Brka Adria govoril izvršni direktor Iskra Emeka, Baha Abdullah. Ključno gotovitev je, da se gospodarstvo najbolj ohlaja v evro območju in da se izvozniki zato presmerajo tudi na druge trge.